Aubrey Plaza. Yes, Tap Board. Silk Boulevard. An image of Tartar Sauce. Tartar Sauce was a cat with feline dwarfism owned by a woman by the name of Tabitha. In September of 2012, Tabitha's brother Brian posted an image of Tartar Sauce on Reddit, where it quickly began blowing up. Redditors dubbed the feline Grumpy Cat due to her constantly angry looking facial expression, and the image soon gained meme status. For years, Grumpy Cat was a widely known symbol of online culture, and Tartar Sauce also became a merchandising juggernaut, sellers worth of coffee mugs, t-shirts, and plush toys. With accounts across all of social media, including YouTube, this cat had become a celebrity. There were books, comics, phone games, and even a movie entitled Grumpy Ow. Cat's Worst Christmas Ever, Ow. in which the role of Grumpy <laughs> Cat was played by Aubrey Plaza. Yes, Tabitha and Brian had clearly struck the gold mine of easy money with their pets. Unfortunately, all when he gets to see a famous person's boobs. And Tartar Sauce died in Tabitha's home at the age of seven. <laughs> <laughs> Run by proud owner Brock Fentel, 2Can TV was a channel which followed the daily antics of Ripley, YouTube's favorite toucan. Although every video was filled with insightful tips for those planning on owning such a unique pet, the main draw of the content was undoubtedly the cute and mischievous bird herself. Unfortunately, on January 1st, 2019, Ripley suffered from heart failure and passed away in Brock's arms. A week later, Brock made a tribute video to her life, and in the comments, clarified that she would be donating her skeleton for educational use. Since her death, he has adopted several more toucans, and the channel has continued in her memory. Jeffree Star is an incredibly successful online beauty guru, gaining millions of both subscribers. Look at how big this font. Look how big this chubby European short hair is. Star seems to have a fascination with Pomeranians, as he's adopted several over the years. This also means he's had to say goodbye to a couple as well, namely his dogs Diamond and Daddy, both due to various health defects. Logan Paul has become famous across the internet for his very He's dead. Spots. His career Ayy. started on Vine in high school before later moving on to making YouTube videos. Logan but Paul. From the very beginning, he was joined by his beloved son mean? Conyer named Maverick. The bird made many appearances in Logan's vlogs, and he even named his merch line after Maverick. The two were an inseparable pair for seven years. Until July Oh, his bird died. When Logan posted on Instagram that Maverick had been eaten by his dog while on vacation in Sweden. Paul Vasquez, or as he was known on YouTube, Yosemite Bear 62, was a YouTuber that made videos on cannot control close to nature. What made him a viral hit in the mainstream, however, cannot was control of him having an over-the-top reaction to a double rainbow across the sky. In an era when people were on the lookout for viral videos, this fit the bill and gained tens of millions of views. A decade later, it was revealed that Paul tested positive for COVID-19, as well as another unspecified <laughs> ailment. Of course. And shortly thereafter, that same away. thing happened to like me. My God. Cause of death hasn't been released. You cannot control me. Stefan Carl Stephenson was an Icelandic <laughs> actor most well known for- I know about that. I know that guy. Kid show Lazy Town. Where he played the I know, he died from cancer, spoiler alert. The show had regular music interludes and always taught a lesson prompting a healthy lifestyle. In October of 2016, Stefan announced that he had been diagnosed with bile duct cancer. I'm All using control. To... I'm controlling this cat. Now I can control you. In an inspiring turn of events, meme creators on YouTube saw this news and began you must get petted. I will must pet it. And as a result, the GoFundMe reached far beyond its original goal. Following the excitement, Stefan made his own YouTube channel quickly gathering. That's his engine starting up. And prompting the upload of the incredibly wholesome live, but it's a live version with an interview, in which he and old cast members performed the song as an act of gratitude towards his supporters. In August of 2017, the internet collectively celebrated when Stefan declared he was a stuff which proved to be premature. When in March of 2018, he would disclose through Twitter that the cancer had returned and was now monopoly. To the dismay of the entire internet, Stefan died in his home on August 21st, 2018. At the... 
young age of 43. As per his wishes, there was no funeral, but millions around the world mourned his death all the same. Will Norton, a.k.a. Will the Beast, was a high school student in Joplin, Will Missouri, the Beast. who posted lighthearted vlogs and comedy sketches from 2007 to 2011, amassing nearly 1.5 million views and thousands of subscribers. On May 22nd of 2011, the now infamous Joplin tornado first struck the city, destroying everything in its path. Will was returning from his high school graduation when he encountered the catastrophe a high school student in Joplin, Missouri, who posted lighthearted vlogs and comedy sketches from 2007 to 2011, amassing nearly 1.5 million views and thousands of subscribers. On May this is a cat rocket right here. Team Catdick. Struck the city, destroying everything in its path. Will was driving home from his high school graduation when he encountered the catastrophic twister. And despite his father's attempt to hold on to his son, he was pulled through the sunroof of the car. Weeks later, his corpse was found in a shallow lake. This is a cat rocket ship right here. <laughs> Jam Sebastian was a Filipino I love you, Charles. By his girlfriend, ran their shared YouTube channel, Jam and TV. Jam and the nickname used by fans to refer to the full jointly, devoted their channel to uploading short films which gave an inside look on the emotional I'm gonna lick ya. In January 2014, Jam was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer. After announcing this heavy news to their devastated million subscribers, tears were shared by fans when at the Philippine International Convention Center, as they were proposed to him. The last video on Jamage TV, uploaded on July 19, 2014, was a heartwarming compilation of prominent YouTubers across the globe their well wishes to Jam. Sadly, <laughs> on March 4th, 2015, Cute. Jam passed away. This part right here is really soft. The Bertelli family is a popular family vlogging channel with so over fuzzy. 7 million subscribers. You. On October 1st, 2015, millions of fans were shocked to find out that the family's eldest son, Caleb, died unexpectedly and tragically at the age of 13 due to heart failure. Apparently, Caleb had suffered from a heart condition known as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, although he had existed no symptoms prior to his death. Fans would later find out that the heart condition was something that ran in the family. They had since tested their other two children for it, but thankfully the test came back negative. Tyree Williams, better known as Buddy died. Shore, was a YouTube hairstyle He says dead LGBT right here. Activist. He openly struggled with depression for most of his life, and he became a well-known member of the online gay community with his words of support for young gay men who might have similar problems to him. Gay men. Despite his long battle, Ty committed suicide in October of 2019 prompting shock and sadness from a large portion of the online world. If you have that face if Sonic has that face, that means Tails in the sleep as well. Oh shit! That happens a lot. It's fancy break, motherfucker. It's fancy break, bitch. Bruh. She uploaded speed painting videos to act as step by step presentations of her works. On December 27th, 2019, I'm tempted to see what happened to it. She revealed via Twitter the new Schick Hydro Stubble Eraser. Her shape falls so comfortably. The Stubble Eraser's comb lifts and aligns. Forgot about it. He's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought Sonic him in sleep. <laughs> what shit, By the way, these cabs that I have.
or from when I got shot in the face by a firework. I was um, outside and I launched fireworks. One of them hit me right in the face. I cannot go to the hospital. Ah, damn, the bright zone left my flash on. But still, it, it really hurt. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs>